Hey yo, what is up guys? Akash here, back with another video. And today we're going to extend the topic of LoRa and make a serial monitor and a LoRa based messenger. So we'll probably use these LoRa modules from Reacts, and uh, we'll take a look at how these operate as well because I found these modules to be very good for easy uses. Apart from that, we are going to use a microcontroller bro board, probably this one from DF Robot. Uh, this is the ASP8266 base. So when we extend the project to a web server based platform this will be helpful in that so our circuit consisting of the lora module and the esp or the microcontroller you can use any microcontroller for this project you can even use an arduino nano esp32 anything which has a serial monitor attached to it that will work so our circuit will uh, be over here one part will be connected to a laptop mobile phone computer anything using a usb cable and the other one will also be connected to any device uh, for my instance i'm connecting one uh, node to a laptop and the other node to a mobile phone and uh, using lora we'll be able to chat between these two uh, devices this will be a basic very basic project so that we can know how lora works and what is its capability this range will be anywhere from one kilometer to around six kilometers so let's get started. I order all my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. They offer 10 PCBs for $2 only. They also offer quick turnaround time and 24 hour production period. To design a PCB, you can use easy EDA and then generate Gerber files for your project. Now upload the Gerber files on JLC PCB and get your PCB manufactured for cheap. They are currently also offering discounts on shipping. So let's first take a closer look at the module that we are going to use. So this one is the Rayax RYLR890. So this is a module working around the frequency 890 megahertz. We use majorly four pins. It has two other pins as well. That is a reset and other one is not connected uh, so these are the four pins that we will majorly use the couple of pins over here are the power pins and the couple are the UART pins that is the RX and the TX this is priced at $15 and this is not just a reacts LoRa module so taking a closer look so this the, the thing inside the metal the white thing is the LoRa module and but here we have a STM microcontroller inbuilt so we have a STM32 jobby over here uh, which handles and takes all, all the care of handling the LoRa module. So we don't have to directly communicate with the LoRa module. Instead, we communicate with the STM microcontroller, which further will do us the job. So we communicate to the LoRa module using the STM32. To get a better picture, let's say that this is the LoRa module. So this is all inside the uh, Reacts module. So this is LoRa. And we also have a STM32. So all this is connected to the STM32. And the LoRa is connected to the antenna, obviously. This cute little golden spring antenna. And this may be connected probably using an SPI interface. So we are saved the trouble of using an SPI interface directly from the LoRa module. And we can connect directly to the Reacts module using AT commands. So let's talk about the AT commands now. So while using any module like this, firstly, there are two steps. So these steps are setup and use. So we need to use different types of AT commands to do both of these things. So firstly, we'll see some AT commands for setup. Reacts provides a detailed guide on the AT commands. So I'll link that down below. It's a very good guide to use. The first we'll see is the AT plus mode command which when we press like equal to zero or one, so zero will put it into normal transmit or receive mode and one will put it into uh, sleep mode. The second command that we'll see is the AT plus IPR mode. Here you can enter the baud rate. So what baud rate you'll uh, communicate with the module is set using this. So it comes with a default baud rate of 1152.00, which is good as the ESP is generally used at that port rate. The main and the most important setup command for the LoRa module is this one, AT plus parameter. So this entire command will tell what 
in what physical aspect will this module work so these are four aspects the first one tells the spreading factor the second one will tell the bandwidth the third one will tell the coding rate and the fourth one will tell the programmable preamble so we don't give much importance to this but these two factors are of very much importance because the bandwidth will decide bandwidth and spreading factor both will decide how much information can you send through this LoRa module and apart from that what will be the range the spreading factor ranges from 7 to 12 the more the spreading factor the lesser the amount of data speed that you can achieve but the better the distance is uh, you can achieve so with a more spreading factor you can get more range there are some other uh, setup commands as well like at plus band at plus address at plus network id at plus c pin and some others i'll mention the entire at guide in the description so you can check that out do i recommend doing that so moving on to the use case scenario so for using we'll see send and receive commands so for sending we have to use at plus send equal to uh, the address uh, that we are sending at the payload uh, length or the length of the data that we are sending and the data as well so this is the basic command that we'll be using in our code as well now moving to the receiving part of it so obviously while receiving you don't have to enter any at commands it will this type of uh, uh, command or uh, message will appear automatically on your senior serial monitor so first it will be plus receive equal to then this will uh, again show what channel what address that we got the uh, message add then the payload length then the message then this will be RSSI So signal strength basically and this is the signal to noise ratio So we'll use all of this knowledge to make a simple code for this so that we can communicate using serial monitor So let's get started with that for the project firstly We need an ESP8266 module and the reacts module so representing those modules by these block diagrams both of them have four pins that will connect to each other the vcc the ground the rx and the tx pins on the lora module will be connected to the vcc ground io15 and io13 pins on the esp module now vcc will be connected to vcc the ground will be connected to ground the io15 will be connected to the rx pin of the lora and it will act as a tx wire in similar fashion io13 will be connected to the tx of the lora module as io13 will act as the rx for the esp module now connecting the wires according to the diagram and the color codes we have connected all the four wires now i took the other lora module and the esp module and connected both of them according to the same diagram now moving on to the code side i'll add a github link for the code that i've written and uh, navigate to that github link and download the entire repository uh, the github uh, repository is named lrm we need to use the stage one code for this when the file is downloaded uh, you need to open the file unzip it and then open the ion of file that is present in that folder once the code is open in the arduino ide go to tools and select the board that you're using for me it's the node mcu uh, version 1.0 then connect one esp module to the computer when that is done go again to the tools and select the appropriate com port for you for me it's com 9 then hit the upload button once the code gets uploaded remove the esp module and then connect the other one and do the exact same procedure for that module as well so for laptop you may open the serial monitor uh, from the corner after uploading for the mobile i'll add the application link in the description below you can download that terminal application so typing in from my phone i typed a message and it came up on the serial display of my laptop with a small delay and similarly when i did type a message from my laptop it came on my phone with again a small delay i tested the device outside and i got a good range about four to five kilometers with line of sight and without line of sight when i tried it in so the range came out to be around 600 meters with these modules